I'm not sure if some of you realize how addicted people are to coffee and keto treats, which I see a plus and I see a minus here. Uh, coffee can cause some problems for people, but if you use it uh, responsibly and you don't abuse it, then, you know, no big deal. Also, I'm seeing that, um, you know, the, the, the treats, people are just flocking. I'm just coming here just one after the other to get the keto treats, which it's not a big deal. But at the same time, you got to be careful. You can overdo that stuff as well. But I'm just watching people coming in and out, in and out, in and out of this coffee shop. And it's just this little small coffee shop in the middle of this little country town. It's a little busy country town, but you'd be surprised on how many people want to do keto. And they, they love the, the cleaner food and... They just want a change for their life, and that's what this is all about. It's, it's a movement to make change, to, to show the government the standard recommendations are wrong, that we're tired of being sick and we want better, and uh, we need that. So, um, this is the movement. So, let's get on with this video. I want to show you some of the treats that were available, and uh, kind of my take after I try them. Do the donuts for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> are you Stephanie? Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you. You too. Um, so, let's see. The cupcakes are two neck carbs a piece. Two neck carbs. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's um, $15 for the dozen. Pancakes are $15. What'd you um, call this? Those are my cheddar, my Cajun cheddar biscuits. And, these and then are? those are everything bagels because they have the um everything seasoning. The everything seasoning. All right. They're really really yummy. And then these are my blueberry scones. They look amazing. And then these are Colleen cheesecake bars. And this is. And then those are um, vanilla cupcakes with a vanilla cream cheese. Yeah, the, um, I'm going to put this on. Okay, here we go. I just got done picking up some keto-friendly. This is a uh, cheddar biscuit that I got at the little coffee convention that I did not know what that was going on. It's good. It just really tastes like almond flour a lot. And uh, I'm trying to get away from that almond flour taste. And this is a some kind of other cheddar biscuit. Now that's better. Much better. Blueberry keto scone. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm, 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 mm. Perfect. I don't know if this is like a coffee cake or some kind of keto cake. Wow. That's amazing. It's not really all that sweet at all. It's perfect. I'm glad I stopped here today. The combat, the keto combat coffee was amazing. And I like the fact they kept it simple. Butter, coconut oil, blend it up, serve it. It wasn't a 600 calorie bulletproof coffee. It was butter, coconut oil, blend it up and serve it. That's how a keto coffee should be. Anyhow, I'm going to get started with my day. 
I'm all jacked up from that coffee that I had. Now I'm going to go to the gym and work out. I'll catch you all later.